Hello, 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 queens. I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial. And today I'm showing y'all how I created this graphic liner red lip type of beat. So without further ado, we're jumping straight into the video. And I'm starting this off by cleaning my client's face. Now that her face is all clean, I'm going to go ahead and outline her brows. And I'm using my Nika K Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Black Brown. Once I'm finished outlining this brow, I'm going to go ahead and outline the other side. I try to get the brows to be as symmetrical as possible before I fill them in. So that's why I just like to work one at a time. And for anybody that's watching this video, if my voice sounds a little weird, I am under the weather at the moment. But the show must go on, okay? The show must go on. And while I'm here, I want to apologize for my inconsistencies with uploading these videos. Normally, y'all get them every week. But lately, y'all have been getting them every other week. And I just want to say it's prom season, y'all. And my schedule is very packed. So when I can upload for y'all, I do upload for y'all. And when I can't, just know that I'm very busy. And as you can see now, I'm just going in and filling in the brows. And to do so, I'm using that same Nika K pencil. And once I've made my way to the front, I'm just switching to a lighter brown shade. Now that both brows have been filled in, I'm going in with my Eye Envy Clear Eyelash Glue and I'm going to use this to lay her brow hairs down in place. To clean up her brows, I'm going to be going in with these two Nika K concealers and they are in the shades 01 and 04. First, I'm going to be going in with the shade 01 because it's lighter and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. Now I'm going in with the shade 04 and I'm using it to clean up the remainder of the way.
for my eyeshadow base, I'm going in with a mix of both of the concealers and I'm just applying it all over her lids. Now I'm going in with my Dermablend Translucent Powder and I'm going to be applying this to the front of her brows just to lighten them up a little bit more and I'm also going to be using it to set some of the concealer in place. For this look, I decided to go in with some tape just to make sure my eyeshadow was nice and sharp. Plus, I never used tape before, so I wanted to see how it worked. I see it in a lot of MUA's videos, so I just wanted to test it out. And I'm going in with my She Glam Smart Cookie Palette, and I'm taking this orangish brown type of transition shade, and I'm going to be applying this to the edge of her eyeshadow. If you decide to use the tape technique like I am, make sure that you drag each of those eyeshadows to the edge of the tape or that would just defeat the whole purpose. Now I'm going in with this dark brown shade. It's also from the Smart Cookie Palette. And I'm gonna be working this into her crease. I decided to go in with a little bit of black from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I'm doing this faux kind of wing eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be going in with a small amount of my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm going to be applying this to her lids. This is a no cut crease look so it doesn't have to be neat, it just has to be blended. I'm taking a matte white eyeshadow from the Smart Cookie Palette and I'm using it to highlight the inner corners of her eyes. Now I'm just going in with this shimmer shade from my Black Radiance Contour Palette in level light to medium. This is actually the highlight shade and I decided to use it on her lids and I'm packing it on using this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. To make her eyeshadow stand out a little bit more, I'm going in with this pigment that I believe is from J. La Rue, and I'm applying this to her lids. I'll try to have the shade name in the description box down below. I didn't go in with any adhesives. I just went in with the pigment, and now I'm going in with this Arts and Crafts Rose Gold Glitter, and I'm applying it on top, and I did go in with a small amount of adhesive just to apply the glitter and to get it to stick. And now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner and I'm going to use this to create a thin, sharp wing that's going to really bring out her eyeshadow and add some depth. I'm going to try to keep it as close to her lash line as possible.
This next step is optional, but I'm going to be going back in with some more of that black eyeshadow and I'm using it to blend out the end of the wing. Once I'm finished blending out her eyeshadow, we're going to be getting into the fun part, y'all. It's time to remove the tape. And I just want to say that I did love this technique and it gave me a very nice and clean finish. But if you're somebody that doesn't want to use tape, you can always just clean up the edge of your eyeshadows with concealer. And as y'all can see, I've moved on to the face. I'm just color correcting around her mouth using my Nika K concealer in the shade number four. And to prime her face, I went in with my Pons Moisturizer and my e.l.f. Matte Primer off camera. For her foundations, I'm going to be going in with these two Fit Me foundations. And they're in the shades Warm Coconut and Spicy Brown. I'm going to be taking the darkest shade and I'm applying it to the lower regions of her face and for the lighter shade I'm just going to be applying it to the inner portions of her face. Now I'm just going to go in and blend the two shades together using my foundation brush. To highlight her face, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer, and I believe it's in the shade 02. Going to blend the concealer out using the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation.
Now I'm just going to go in and contour her nose and I'm using my Juvia's Place foundation stick. This one is in the shade Sokoto. I'm going to be using this to contour her nose and her face. Once I've sculpted out her nose, I like to go back in with my foundation brush just to blend out the lines and make sure that they're not too harsh. And then I just take whatever excess concealer is left on my brush and I run it down the bridge of her nose just to clean it. I'm going to blend out her nose one more time with my sponge just to make sure that everything it's looking nice and blended how I would like it to look and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to contouring around her face. I like to do the jawline and the cheekbone and I just blend it out using my foundation brush. Once I'm finished contouring her face, I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer underneath her eyes. And I'm just using my Real Technique sponge and it is damp. I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder in the shade Banana and I'm using it to set the concealer in place. I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in a level light to medium and I'm using this to set the contoured areas of her face. I do not use this to set the contoured areas of her nose y'all. To set her nose I just went in with my Morphe Loose Powder in the shade Banana but I'm taking this powder on her forehead, her cheekbones and her jawline. Now I'm just going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the level Dark Deep and I'm using this to set the remaining areas of her face. Moving on to the graphic liner portion of this look, I'm going back in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm just sketching out a line along the edge of her wing using this thin flat detail brush and you kind of want to do it in the shape of a V, meaning towards her lash line you want to keep it narrow and then once you get to the end where you kind of reach the tail of the brow you want to spread it out.
Now I'm just taking some black eyeshadow on this angled brush and I'm using it to outline her waterline. I'm doing that V shape in the crevice of her eye to create that feline effect. To finish up my graphic liner, I had my client close her eyes and I just connected the bottom of her lash line to underneath the white portion that we sketched out and it came out bomb y'all. This was so much easier to do than I assumed but if it's your first time doing it, make sure that you just go in with a small amount of product and really take your time but now that we're safe i'm gonna go ahead and sweep away all of the powder that i have resting on her face it's time to apply her lashes so this is the style that I decided to go in with for today's look and I cut them to fit her eyes off camera so now I'm just applying them to her lash line I'm going to spray her face with some setting spray and then I'm just going to go in and highlight her using the highlighter from my Black Radiance Contour Palette. Now I'm just going to go in with some of my Paz Moisturizer on this disposable lip wand and I'm using this to clean off slash hydrate her lips before I go in with my liquid lipstick. This is going to just make everything blend out so much easier and now I'm just going to go in and outline her lips and to do so I'm using my Julia's Place Foundation Stick and this is in the shade Catsina. For her lip shade, I'm going to be going in with these two liquid lipsticks. One is from ColourPop and one is from Milani. First, I'm going in with the Milani one and I'm going to be applying this directly on top of where we lined. I'm not sure of what the shade name for this one is, but I'll try to have it in the description box down below. Y'all, please excuse me, but I am very much so a perfectionist when it comes to my craft. So if you see me get all up in her face, just know that I have to, okay? I like to analyze every stroke that I do. I need to know what's going on because I like neatness. But now I'm going in with my ColourPop Liquid Lipstick, and I know it's in the shade Creeper. And I'm just applying it to the center of her lips. And once I have it fully coated, I'm going to be going in with eyeshadows, and I like to just use these to extra mattify the look and I should have left it right here like that but I decided to go in with the darker one and as you can see it was a little too dark but I just I decided to keep going okay just blend it out I liked it better how it was but this was still a cute look period it's still giving what it's supposed to give but we're stepping into the grand reveal so I'm just gonna let y'all watch okay you ready to see Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cry. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Golly. It's giving 23. <laughs> I like this. Yo. Oh. Not you feeling yourself, girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, queens, we've made it to the end of the video. And as y'all can see by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. I hope you all enjoyed this look. I think it came out incredible. And this was a birthday glam, so make sure y'all fill that comment section with some birthday cake emojis, okay? If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. A link will be in the description box below. Bye-bye, queens.